Alright, so, I want to show you probably one of the, the highest weapon DPS you can get in this game, and maybe the highest single target DPS you can get with any damaging ability in the game. And it all involves the use of the Dan Shotgun and the Bio Converter Augmentation, plus a series of skills which are going to make it a lot more viable and extremely strong. So, the skills you're going to be looking for... You're going to be wanting to max out the shotgun rank so you can get damage and force at the end. Probably want to invest as many points into combat skill group as you can because that will also increase this as it scales with the amount that you put into combat. Now, some very useful things that you should note are the in combat tools. You can increase your hover duration with aerial combat, which is a pretty good ability, I think. In most cases, it's going to be better than martial arts, unless you're a melee character, of course. And this will double your hover duration, increase your weapon accuracy while airborne, and give you damage resistance. But the hover duration is very important, and it's critical, because I'm going to be defeating an architect in the video to prove my point on the DPS, because you're going to be seeing something I've never seen before. We want to max out turbocharge. <clears throat> I skip out on accuracy and stability and clip size bonus because I will be using a shotgun with this, which means we're going to be at a very short range. We want this maxed out. This gives us a 35% gun damage bonus, and that scales extremely well with guns with huge amounts of damage, especially guns with low clip size but high gun damage. We can abuse the hell out of this with the bio converter augmentation. Now, what is that? If I go to inventory and shotguns, and I have a gun called the Reaper, which is a Dan, it does over a thousand damage already, which is fantastic. That is the wrong menu. What am I doing? So, I look at this, I go to view details. When the current ammo is clip, arrow... <laughs> when the current ammo clip is empty, drain 5% of health and refill the clip. This is extremely overpowered because you never have to reload and it uses your health. There is the obvious debuff though, it drains your health. So how do we deal with that? There's, diff there's two different ways. So one thing that gets overlooked a lot is probably in combat fitness, this regeneration ability. This is actually very strong because you regenerate about 30% of your health if you have this ability. Without this bonus health regeneration and without the health regeneration cap, you don't actually have health regeneration, <clears throat> health regeneration, or it actually doesn't exist. Um, or basically doesn't exist because it's so slow. If you have a look at the start of the game, your health regeneration is kind of like minus 10, which <clears throat> actually seems more bug than anything because if minus 10 times 4, which is basically, uh, or times 3, sorry, um, or minus 10 times 2, whatever you want to increase the, the health regeneration by which in this case is actually 50% so it would be one point, times 1.5 it will always be a negative number so it's a bit bugged I'm not sure how they do it but you gain health regen regeneration with that ability it doesn't state that but it allows you to actually regenerate your health plus it increases the capacity which is quite important so the next thing that people often overlook is the life support ability tech passive this thing doubles uh, about triples your health regeneration and increases the capacity so it's above half generally if you have that soldier comp passive as well so you can almost regenerate the entirety of your health if you stack life support with it in normal circumstances you won't be able to plus this regenerates it at a much quicker rate after using a tech power so essentially <clears throat> Using any ability in your tech tree is going to make you regenerate your health very quickly. That is a thing that is very, very often overlooked. So, now that you know about life support and you know about the regeneration ability in a soldier combat tree, you will be able to get health whenever you want it to, well, whenever you want to. But if you say if you don't have enough points to get life support like me, you can also opt for a squad mate. Cora, I believe, is the only squad member which heals you. She also increases passively uh, the whole squad's maximum shields by 20%. So in shield boost at rank 6, this is going to regenerate your health. 
which is actually extremely strong because you're going to find more ammo than you find health and as you, you're also going to be using up those health charges as well much more quickly than your ammo charges so having a healer in your squad is super strong and Korra is a very viable squad mate because of this not only just for the very high base damage biotic ability Nova which is the highest base damage biotic ability and the fact she can prime with it so you have a healer right here and she also um, increases maximum shields for your allies now that's not so important what's important is that we now can regenerate our health and get health back very quickly all of a sudden bio converter becomes viable so we use it with a weapon like the dam now this is actually a dam that I've crafted so I have 5% increased all combo damage um, and biotic power damage all stacked so I do like loads of biotic damage and combo damage um, but that's just a personal choice of mine you can attach a uncommon augmentation called kinetic coil which will increase this to a total of 12% weapon damage if I was stacking that and if you get loads of weapon damage it will stack extremely well for the Dan because the Dan has a huge amount of base damage and using damage bonuses to add on to that even something small like 10% will have a huge effect it's much like the biotic um, biotic warrior offensive passive that increases by 15% is quite over underwhelming especially for its duration but with a gun like the Dan and with abilities like turbocharge stacking on the damage uh, to 35% and plus having stuff like this and this you're gonna have so much extra bonus damage to your shotgun it's extremely worth it I don't really have this because I am um, my primary build is charge Nova and shockwave but that isn't the highest DPS build this is just a very nice Vanguard classic build so what's the next trick any offensive tech passive tree Technical rounds after you use a tech power will increase your weapon damage by 30% That is at least it's over a hundred percent bonus weapon damage that we've looked through so far. It's so much bonus weapon damage over the um, Dan which is already doing something like uh, I don't know why it's not showing here, but it does over a um, 1100 damage as I showed earlier why is it not showing actually? That's really weird. Okay, maybe I'm just being an idiot. But, yeah. It does over a thousand damage. It's incredible. So what abilities do we actually use? Well, since I'm going to be fighting an architect, we will want charge so we can get in right next to the weak point because there's not really many other ways unless you use your hover jets to get there. Plus, I just like charge. So, um, I'm going to take... Uh, energy drain because it's just an instantaneous ability and uh, I mean it's good it's especially good for if you want to use it because it has a, a fairly low recharge speed it's okay but this is just a very reliable ability it also increases your survivability and we're going to be taking turbo charge now the passive or profile we're going to be wanting to use is this one soldier because it increases your weapon damage by 16% it's going to be very strong Normally I'd take Vanguard because just look at uh, that biotic recharge speed. Plus combined with the fusion mod which I have, which if I show you, is rapid deployment which gives a bonus of 50% to all power recharge speeds. And you're going to be seeing me tear into this architect at extreme DPS. That minus 15% weapon damage will have a, an effect, but just take note of that I already have a penalty to my weapon damage while I'm doing this. So... And I'll be killing it quickly. It's going to be quite a spectacle. And now that we have all of this ability set up, I think we're just about ready to dive into it. One thing that I do suggest is having that hover duration because it's going to be very useful. And yeah, I think we're ready. The armor I recommend you use is probably the Maverick Deadeye Chest, which increases your weapon damage by 18%, uh, about rank 5 or 6. Right now I'm just using my own armor, which as currently apparently is a glitch, where you can just get rank 10 of this and craft it, which is the N7 armor um, by default. And you can just craft a rank 10 of it at 
at only level 59 when usually rank 10 stuff's 80. But here, um, I've stacked loads of combo damage. It's not really relevant, but this is just what I have. And it's for my my main primary build, which is that shot, charge and shockwave and Nova I was talking about. So, now that we have this, let's go take on an architect, shall we? And I think this is really going to surprise you. I've already done this fight like twice, um, once on my main save, this is on another save, and on the second save, um, not the second save, this is the second save, but on the second recording I did for this, it just uh, bugged out, you'll love it. So taking out the architect is deceptively easy. up, you just charge back in there because we ain't dealing with that shit and they ain't taking cover. Nobody's got time for that. So it's gonna make remnant. Thank you for that comment, PB. Well, actually, is a remnant? Yeah. So this is just about all the damage and bonuses from the abilities. The dam is extremely strong when you can just, um, I'm on hardcore by the way. Felt that for sure. Sorry, but have you seen whoops. Have you even seen damage like that against these fucking conduits? Especially the head conduit as well, which has so much damage resistance. It's ridiculous. Enemies, Huge amount of DPS. Get it before it's gone. It should relocate to over here. This is the problem with, um, you can't actually charge to its head in some really weird and spots. spot. So energy drain will keep you alive in the event that a turret opens up and shoots your ass. Probably want to evade during it as well for the DR. The weak point for nullifiers is this bomb bit that they shield off, by the way. See if we can hit it, they die pretty quickly.
That's a weird visual glitch. That invincibility frame as well with the charge. That's why I take charge. Very useful ability. I dodge a lot of very powerful abilities in the game of it. Better back off, bitch. And inside this container, we got the same shit as before. Very bad fusion mod, in my opinion. But it is a fusion mod at Reno, and we will be taking it at Reno. Uh, I need to free up space for this. Um. There we go. And there you go. That is the higher single target DPS you can probably get in the game. Maybe besides the Annihilation and Lance combo, I can definitely see that being extremely strong, especially at rank 6 Vanguard with a power shield reduction. That would be very interesting to try out, which I haven't done yet because I haven't got Lance maxed out. But it's definitely like, wow. I mean, I haven't ever seen a, an architect get killed that quickly. So... I mean, the proof's in the pudding. It is what it is. Hope everybody's enjoying Mass Effect Andromeda so far. I bloody well am. I've already played like 70 hours of this game. And, um, it's gotten, gotten in the way of a lot of my work. Just say that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Experiment with the build. Change it. Change it about. Try out different stuff if you want to. Obviously, this isn't the only weapon you can run it with. You can run it with Piranha. You could see it being pretty decent with that, maybe. Or the Hash, which has the highest rate of fire for a shotty. Yeah, see how it goes.